Hi everyone, this is Sunny Emmy, and today I'm going to be doing another um, yarn show haul, not yarn show, trunk show technically haul. Um, I uh, was at my local yarn store, Center of the Universe, Yarnverse, not Universe, though we are, our town logo is Center of the Universe. Um, they were having a trunk show, which I'd known the day before. Um, if anyone doesn't know, Virginia, like, had a huge storm recently, and, like, everyone I know lost power. Um, I ended up the day before the trunk show, um, hiding at the yarn store because we had no power, um, and I just wanted to get away, so I ended up, every time I go, I buy something. I really shouldn't. I got this little dude. I love it. He's like extremely cute he was like five bucks but because of him i got a five dollar off um coupon and um i was there uh, i had not intended to go to the trunk show for organized chaos yarn um but uh when i was there at the yarn store one of the ladies there was doing a crochet class even though I'm a tight crocheter and tend not to crochet because it hurts my hands, um, I just fell in love with the giraffe and owl and bunny that she had. And I went, my mom was kind of hiding out at my grandparents' house um, where she's cleaning up the house and getting it ready to sell. And um, I went over there and showed her the pictures of um, the giraffe. Uh, I might put a picture of the giraffe from the teacher's page. Um, and she just loved it. And she's like, I'll pay for the class as a Valentine's Day present. And, you know, you can, you know, I, I now get the yarn and it can be my Valentine's Day present. So even though this is not going to be done by Valentine's Day because it's a four-week class, um, it's her Valentine's Day present is the actual, um, present and you can see on my uh 2020 whips um i will be showing you know what i have so far it should already be up by now um uh, but depends on how i edit uh because i also have a video we shot a while ago of um a wreath my mom is really into making at the moment that it's probably not gonna be done till after this video because of audio issues uh, but yeah that's not the point so we're sitting I got there really early for class I didn't know that on Saturdays they open up at 11 and not 10 like usual because uh, usually I'm not there on Saturdays um, so I went uh, I got there early and um, so did a bunch of other the other two people in our class and we were sitting there and you could just hear them. They were like, they started setting up for the trunk show, which the trunk show is, uh, it started Saturday and goes to the next Saturday. So depending on when I put this up, the trunk show sh could still be going on. Um, but we just were like sitting there listening to them exclaim about how gorgeous this yarn is and this yarn looks best over here and oh this shawl is so pretty and look at this hat and all this stuff and we were sitting there and we by this point we had um started our, our crocheting class and we um we just kept hearing this and then finally we looked i looked up and i could see over the shelves um one of those tall yarn like tall stack things where like they hang the yarn I don't know what they're called um this one gorgeous skein it was like orange fluorescent orange and fluorescent purple and fluorescent pink I mean it stood out and uh, the teacher and I both were looking uh and it was just it was just gorgeous and um I think first the teacher went to the bathroom and came back and was exclaiming about how gorgeous the yarn was and she just shouldn't have looked she should have just you know run in and run out and um then another girl uh, the other, another lady went and went to the bathroom and came back and was talking about how sparkly some of the yarn was and that was just gorgeous and you know 
I was the only one I think that didn't go to the bathroom and look at the arm ahead of time. So finally, we were done. And all of us packed up in like record time and made a beeline for where the trunk show was. And oh my word, the yarn was gorgeous. And the lady that talked about the sparkling yarn was right. And I just, I was like, I don't need more yarn, but there's no way I can leave without a skein. And I was just looking, I was like, oh, I love this and I love this. And they had this Alaska hat that I've wanted to knit for a while. And it was like in mint green and some dark color and was just gorgeous. And I was just like, I don't need to, I don't need this. I can't, I, my conscience was battling with my love of yarn. Um, and finally I saw mini skin kits. And I was like, I have this blanket design that I'm, I'm coming out with soon. Um, probably like June-ish. That's like a scrappy blanket thing. And I have no mini skeins for it. Right now I'm going to be doing um, scraps from projects I've made. But I was just like, if I get a thing of mini skeins, I can use those in the blanket. And that will kind of be, you know, not a write-off. But it'll, it, it, I can make sense with that. I mean, that's not something for a... It is going to be a large project because it's going to be a blanket. But, I mean, it's a scrappy blanket that I could use them in. So, I picked through all of the... the it's like a Swatch It Up cow, and I have it posted over the price. Hopefully, it stays. And there's 100 grams total. I'm going to flip it around. But it's Organized Chaos Yarn. And, oh my word, these look at these i mean you got purples these like i was telling you the fluorescent colors look at these fluorescent this is not the skein that i saw but i meant just it was just a fluorescent and then we got this giant blue one this gray and purple these three are the ones that made me get this kit instead of a different kit because a different kit had like one of these but not both not all three of these together They'd be like one in one kit, but not in the uh, and but these two wouldn't be in it, and then be this one, and these two weren't there, and uh, I just want, wanted all three of these. Cause I mean, just look at them, look at them, um, um, and I just I, I love them, and I can't wait to skein them up and put them in my blanket once I have figured out the pattern. It's really simple, but it's gonna be a scrappy blanket. Um, that a friend of mine was like just go ahead and design it and make it and stop doing the mitered squares that you while you think they're cute you don't like making <laughs> i only have like four mitered squares because i just can't you know i can't i can't i can't do them it just it seems boring to me but this i'm excited i'm really excited for this <laughs> um so if this is put up before the 15th of February, you can head over, head on over to the center of the universe and it's organized chaos and the trunk show will be there until the, the 15th of February. If it's after the 15th of February, find the trunk show somewhere else. Cause I'm pretty sure with how gorgeous her yarn is and how popular it was that she's probably going to be doing a trunk show somewhere else because you know, people want her yarn. All right, so this has been Cindy Emmy with a trunk show haul. Um, I hope you have a wonderful day and God bless.